We're gonna get five kills this round. We sure are. All right, guys, Mr. G bring you cross out and coffee. And today we built something out of a spider cab, which has no legs on it whatsoever. We built a dual hammer falled, super cooled shotgun, relatively medium fast brawler build. And I got to say, this thing is absolutely a joy to drive. It is one of my absolute favorite builds that I've made probably in the last month. She looks gorgeous, she drives gorgeous, and she is just fun to take out for a drive. So let's see what's under the hood. Um, this is another build where I've got a cab that gives us maximum energy. So we've got the, the Step Spider cab providing 12 points of energy. We've got the Apollo providing four more for a 16 total. All that energy is going to keep our two Hammerfall shotguns cool. Uh, so these are legendary shotguns. And they have a low chance to temporarily disable the rotation of the enemy's weapons for a second. A.K.A. they jam the enemy's weapons. And a few times I've tried this in battle, that has saved my bacon more than once. So we've got a ton of cooling on this thing. We've got purple cooler, two purple radiators, jammed in front. What do we got? Even more cooling. Even more radiators. So we have... Uh, essentially, we have six points uh, of cooling on this so that we can just hit the shotgun button for as long as possible. So, this is, I mean, it doesn't do any damage at medium range, but at close range, we can just tear things up. And then we cool off really fast, and it just does really solid damage. One of the first things I did with this build is I had two hammer falls and I had a, a Spitfire shotgun in the front. So we had three shotguns, but after some testing, uh, it seemed like ditching the Spitfire and just going for more cooling for the hammer falls was certainly the way to go. Um, as far as chassis go, the Step Spider cab gives, you know, medium tonnage and medium speed, which is great. And on hardened tracks with these two large wheels in the rear, she steers pretty well. Um, and uh, and looks really good. One thing you don't want to ever do is just do hardened tracks for these because it'll steer so wide of an arc. But if you throw large wheels on the end, you're good to go. All right, let's let's try this beautiful beautiful beast out in battle. So this thing has a power score of eleven thousand. Uh, it's all the cooling and the legendary weapons. What do we got? What do we got? Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get on Mr. Aegis here. Now, the weakness with Hammer Falls is they don't have a lot of structure. They're about as strong as Reapers. So they get blown off. Similar to Reapers, that's their weakness. But they fit my playstyle. Except, you know, even more close range. But they fit my brawler playstyle pretty well. Uh, we are cleaning house, just for the record. I just want to go and say that. We are doing great. Um, at close range. Now, this guy's hammering us with what? Equalizers? Did we jam them? We jammed them. Saving our butts. Not to be underestimated. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time. But you really need to appreciate how fast this thing can strip weapons. And like if you jam two tsunamis that are about to shoot you in the face, or a mammoth, look at this, we are just four kills, first round. This thing is a beast. You guys know I can't drive, so these weapons in the build are good. Oh my. I'm glad we went with the extra cooling for this thing. Oh my word, and, and the wedge, we made a pretty wedge. It's, are we gonna get five kills this round? We sure are. We don't overheat. Even with all the cooling, these things still overheat. That's five kills, guys. You saw it here first. On <laughs> the channel. I recorded it. Mr. G is getting five kills. Oh, can we get six? Oh my god. The team is... My... <laughs> oh, we're gonna get six. No, we were so... We still lost. I get five kills. 
I could have got two more. Oh my god, this build is really, really good. We need to get to closer range. Yeah, you guys can see hardened tracks pair really well with large wheels. Increase the steering on them big time. And they give you tonnage at solid speed. Uh, okay, alright, alright. We, oh, we're getting flanked? We're getting flanked already. Let's chew this guy up. Let's get on his fuel tanks. Boom! Wedged and shotgunned. Oh, it's been a while since I've driven a shotgun wedge. But now I miss them so badly. Oh, getting degunned. The weakness of our build. But we also tear off other people's guns in a hurry. Team! Where's my team? They're not here. Oh, run, 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 run. The least we can do is grab a couple points on the encounter before we get blown away. Gosh, this thing's fast for being on tracks. Now oh, we're countering the counter. 84 points of structure. And we're dead. Alright, so this build definitely works well uh, when your team is with you, supporting your team. Mono e mono. At medium range, we are weak, but if we can get in and strip some weapons, get some jams on this guy, and not lose our own weapons, we're gonna do okay. Bam! I really like Hammer Falls. I didn't think I was gonna like him. Uh, one of my subs was like, uh, Mr. G, can you try Hammer Falls? I was like, all right. I'm gonna ask my guy, Matej, for this part, and he hooked me up. Thank you, Matej. And I really like it. I almost like it as much as Reapers. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to need more time with them. But at this point, I'm highly considering uh, getting this for my regular account. Now, see, here's the problem. We cannot close the distance quite as fast as I would like. Oh, and this guy's detonating. Hit the E-brake and let him blow up. Oh, see that move? Shoved him over the side like a total boss. Um, I'm so proud of myself. I'm not used to actually performing well for you guys. So it's like, yes, validation from Mr. G today. We can drive when we have a weapon that does not require us to aim. And the enemy team just gives us a kill like this. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's not drive in front of his executioner. Let's not do that. Boom. Free kills, boys. Free kills. Yeah, I like this build. I'm going to definitely try and get the Step Spider Cab back from my regular account because I sold it. Alright, build recap time, guys. Um, the chassis on this is good. Medium speed and medium to high structure does well. And it's maneuverable and it's, it's quick. Most importantly, it's beautiful. Um, the wedge on this works pretty solidly. Uh, pairs good with the shotgun. The only weakness is we're really weak at medium to long range. We just can't do the damage at long range. So closing the distance, we need that speed as much as possible. Um, we could drop the hot red for the cheetah and get a little more speed. But honestly, I think the cooling really helps the DPS. So the six points of cooling with the two hammer fall are a must because these things still overheat in like five seconds even with six energy points just to keep these two cool. But the real weakness with this build is the guns stripped right off. Um, and that's with me armoring them as much as possible. They're you know they're behind the cab. Uh, we've got Steppenwolf plate armor. We've got two fender pieces. We've got large fenders. We've got uh, Dawn's children bits. I mean, there's hundreds of points of armor on those things uh, just to try and keep them alive for as long as possible. Do they still get blown off? Yes, they do. Is this a good build? Yes. Is it competitively good? Maybe. She's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. This is a pretty solid build, you guys. I'm really pleased with this one. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next because I do these every day. Um, and come by our Discord, share what you're building, uh, and throw us a sub, throw us a like. I will catch you guys on the next one. Mr. G out.